I found out I have a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Singer and actress Selena Gomez has sparked outrage on the internet after releasing a tone-deaf statement on the Israel-Palestine war. The only in the building star shared that she has been taking a break from social media because of the violence and terror that's been going on in the world. On Monday, October 30th, she shared a message on her social media, subtly highlighting the violence against one group for her 430 million followers. Taking to Instagram, Selena penned, I've been taking a break from social media because my heart breaks to see all of the horror, hate, violence, and terror that's going on in the world. People being tortured and killed or any act of hate towards any one group is horrific. We need to protect all people, especially children, and stop the violence for good. The Calm Down crooner further added, I'm sorry if my words will never be enough for everyone or a hashtag. I just can't stand by innocent people getting hurt. That's what makes me sick. I wish I could change the world. But a post won't love Selena. Selena seemingly hinted at the ongoing genocide Israel is committing in Palestine. Netzine started trolling her on social media for not naming Israel in her statement. One user wrote, Selena Gomez is being so stupid right now, she is downplaying her massive following and being hypocritical. If a post can't help change the world, why call yourself a philanthropist? Why post about mental health, Black Lives Matter, women's rights, American elections, etc.? Another added, the way she tweeted this for Ukraine, the hypocrisy is insane. It's clear that white bodies will always be valued more. With a third user posting two of Selena's posts side by side before adding the caption, Selena Gomez when Ukraine got attacked versus when there's a literal genocide going in Palestine, what a fiend hypocrite. She only gives a F when white people are the victims, but if they ain't white all of a sudden, a post in her platform with 429 million followers won't change a thing. Selena recently said being the most followed woman on Instagram is a big responsibility, but now she doesn't act like it is, and that's why some of her fans are blasting her. In September this year, the actress and singer said she's never really cared about numbers, but that it can be a little heavy. Last year, she released a documentary about her health and mental well-being after being diagnosed with lupus. Selena has 430 million followers on Instagram, more than her bestie Taylor Swift, who has 275 million, and Kylie Jenner, the previous title holder, who is followed by 398 million people. The 31-year-old said fans have reached out to her about their own struggles to tell her how her music has helped them through difficult times. While grateful to feel she can help people, she added, it can be a little heavy. I feel for people, and I think that's what kind of keeps me in check, to be honest, she said. I think I can be a little reckless with my emotions and having conversations with young people, women who are going through divorces or going through chemo. It's not just about me, and I'm fully aware of that. I will just always cherish it. It's a big responsibility, though. It's a little scary, the singer added. The award-winning singer has become well-known for speaking about mental well-being since the release of her documentary, My Mind and Me, made by Apple TV, follows Selena dealing with the impact of her childhood fame, her kidney transplant in 2017, and a high-profile breakup with Justin Bieber. I felt like I got to say things that I've been keeping in for years, she told her hosts, Sir Lucian Grange and Ariana Huffington, about the documentary at an event in September this year. It's very hard for me to watch. I will never watch it again, but I'm very proud of it. Now, while her message condemned the harm inflicted on innocent civilians when addressing the ongoing conflict in Palestine, her assertion that her words and social media posts won't make a significant difference has sparked a mixed reaction from her fans. She probably regrets even putting out a statement. The singer and actress has remained relatively silent on the matter until now. Selena shared her heartfelt thoughts about the ongoing conflict, expressing her anguish over the horrors, hatred, violence, and terror that have plagued the world. Her post called for the protection of all people, especially children, and an end to violence. However, it was her subsequent remark that her words might not be sufficient to affect real change that drew criticism from some fans, and rightly so. One disgruntled user wrote, This pessimistic idea that your single post won't change anything is factually false and has been disproven many times. When you use your platform, especially one with millions of followers, to highlight the genocide against Palestinians, you put pressure on world leaders.
Not done yet, the same user continued with the rant, tweeting, Your influence could give Palestinians a voice while Israel is currently trying to cut us offline. Israel shut down the internet the other day because they know how powerful social media is. This is extremely important to note. When you use your platform, you're helping save lives. Another user also waded into the debate, writing, 430 million of followers. Yes, a post can do a lot, Selena Gomez. You taking a break on social media because this affect you. But you're in a million dollar house while people are getting you can't even defend Palestine. You take a neutral stance to save face. Another fan of hers, despite confessing undying love, called out the Hollywood star for getting it wrong this time round. A post won't physically change it, but raising awareness to your 430 million followers can and will make huge impacts by spreading the word and raising donations to Palestinian families. I love you, Selena, but this is a poor take, the fan tweeted. There were also comments suggesting that being neutral in the face of knowledge might in inadvertently support oppressors. As for late October, Israeli officials claim that the initial Hamas attack and the rocket fire from Gaza have claimed more than 1,400 lives since October 7. Meanwhile, health officials in the Hamas-controlled enclave claim that relentless Israeli artillery and missile strikes have left 8,300 people dead. This is not the first time the singer has been called out by her fans. Back in 2019, Selena Gomez asked her fans to be kind to everyone after they came after Hailey Bieber for seemingly referencing Selena on social media. Merely 24 hours after the release of her hotly anticipated single Lose You To Love Me on October 24, 2019, Selena surprised fans with another track called Look At Her Now alongside a futuristic dance music video. In Lose You To Love Me, Selena sang about past relationships in Look At Her Now she sings about rebirth. And it's no coincidence the singer decided to put out the songs back to back. I felt having these two songs released back to back completed the story of how one can rise no matter what challenges life brings, Selena told Billboard, turning off the noise and living your life on your terms. But much to Selena's dismay, the releases created quite a bit of noise in a different way. Especially Lose You To Love Me, which many fans believe to be about her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber. After the song's release, fans believed Haley, who has been married to Justin since September 2018, seemingly shaded Selena on her social media. According to BuzzFeed, the model posted a song named I'll K You to her Instagram story, making many fans think the song Choice was directed at Selena. Haley, who has dealt with intense fan pressure in the past, addressed the situation and reportedly denied she had intended to refer to Selena in any of her posts. Please stop with this nonsense. There is no response. This is complete BS, she wrote in an Instagram comment. Following the backlash, Selena decided to speak up on it all in an Instagram Live. I am grateful for the response that the song is getting. I'm so grateful. However, I do not stand for women tearing women down, and I will never, ever be by that, so please be kind to everyone. Selena can be heard saying in the clip. It doesn't matter what the situation is. If you're my fans, don't be rude to anybody, please. Don't go off and say things that you just feel in the moment. Just please for me. Know that that's not my heart, and my heart is only to release things that I feel that are me and I'm proud of. That's all that I'll say," she then concluded. While she meant no harm, fans called her out for being a hypocrite since she was the one who started the fire by releasing a song seemingly directed to Hailey Bieber. Selena is often regarded as a sweetheart, the classy alternative to fellow Disney exports such as Miley Cyrus, but don't be fooled by the saccharine starlet. She has plenty of shade surrounding her too. And now, it seems she is getting exposed. Do you also believe she didn't handle the Israeli-Palestine debate maturely? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.